Hello and welcome back. It's the Clay Golem here. We're in Foundry VTT and I'm in our testing world. Um, we're looking at another add-on today. So in the last add-on video, we looked at background scaler um, because you lot, of, you lot are feeling really sorry for me watching me struggle with uh, aligning my grids in my maps um, and bringing forth ideas of how we can make that much simpler. So we looked at background scaler in the last one and that looks great. That seems to do the job. Absolutely no problem. Um, but we've had a recommendation from Ken Caesar, um, apologies if I've mispronounced your name, about potentially using Grid Scaler instead um, to do a very similar job. It's just a different way of doing solving the same problem. So that's what we're going to look at in to, well, that's what we're going to look at in this video today. Again, struggling with my words, unbelievable way. Eh? Uh, who would have thought it? As you can see, I am in my testing world. Um, it doesn't matter that we've got these other things installed, but Grid Scaler at the top there, that's the one we're interested in. And that's what we're going to have a play with in this video. So I uh, obviously need to create a new scene. Now to compare like by like, I'm going to create a new scene. Um, and this is going to be the Thunder Tree map again. And that's what we did in the last one. So, you know, let's make sure we uh, at least try to use more complicated maps. Um, I have already uploaded Thunder Tree. There it is. Select that file, bring that in, and let's switch over to it. Okay, so again, just just scrolling in here so you guys can see, we've got the uh, the grid for the map itself, and then we've got our other grid. Now, as you know, the first thing I want to do is to change that grid color to a red, so hopefully you can see that red grid screen, uh, that red grid is much, much bigger than our background one. Okay, so um, ooh, how do we how do we do this then? If we go to configure and we go to grid, we're not got that little box there that we had before. Um, so it's not in the same place, which is absolutely fine. Um, we need to find it somewhere else. Now I'm just looking in the um, in the other screen here, I've got the GitHub instructions for this one. And it just says how to use. Once the plugin is loaded, which it is, a new wrench icon will appear below the main tool section. Uh, is it this one? Grid controls. Yes. It says a new wrench icon. Um, I'm not seeing a wrench. <laughs> Anybody seeing a wrench? I'm just wondering if that if it's been updated, but I'm pretty sure it's these grid controls, isn't it? That's what we want. Um, and we can draw, uh, so set grid by drawing either a square or hexagon, or we can do a three by three box. Now I like the idea of the three by three box because what that's gonna do is basically give us a bit more accuracy on it, which is nice. Uh, we've also got being able to set positions X and Y on the grid, move and scale the grid, uh, set the grid by number of squares or hexes. So if it's a map you've known, made yourself, you should know that, and that might be the easiest way to do it. Uh, toggle the grid display temporarily. Oh, okay, that's just making that much more. Let's do. Let's leave that on. That's going to make it easier for you guys to see. All right, let's just try this three by three. I'm going to go right for the middle of the screen here, um, and I believe it's just going to be simply trying to do that. And well, it looks pretty good, but it's not aligned, is it? So how am I using this? So, uh, okay, that top one allows us to, so this top one up here um, allows us to draw one square, which is fine, um, but it's not then aligning it. Let's try that one, just because, try all the tools. We just do one square. Yeah, so it's not aligning it the way that I would necessarily assume it to. It's off-centered. Okay, that's not a problem. It's just... Okay. So it's not lining it automatically. Now, it's possible that Kent, who clearly uses this, um, is now screaming at the screen. <laughs> um, it, so, again, in the instructions, it says with the X offset, um, when it is selected, you'll be able to move the X grid along the plane by clicking the button and then clicking on a vertical line in one of your grid squares. So I I'll literally just, oh, wow. Okay, that is really, really simple. So we can literally click where we want that grid line to be. And it, I have to reselect that and it jumps that grid. Okay, so we're not lined up particularly well. Okay, let's try that again. So, whoops. 
So I'm going to do the 3x3 three three grid again. To there. Uh, oh, we're near, we're, we're near, the, the grid looks better. It does look better. Uh, so I'm doing the horizontal one. No, I'm doing the X one, you ninny. And now I'm doing the other one. Well, that looks pretty darn good. So again, I just want to pan over to somewhere further away. That was pretty darn good, doesn't it? Okay, now obviously that took a few clicks on my part because I've never, literally never used this before. I installed it and then did nothing apart from start the video. Um, and I know sometimes that might be frustrating if you're thinking, like, why is he just messing around? Just show us how to use it. But actually, if you've never used it before, it's useful to know how easy is it to learn. That was... Boom, done. Job done. <laughs> so if I go back to uh, my configure here, uh, I've got my grid all lined up. Now, obviously, I could, if I wanted to, um, I could use the you know the, the grid configuration tool to finally adjust it if I felt I needed to. I really don't on this. The only thing I want to do is make sure that red grid's not showing. Bosh, done. Um, so, yeah, um, the background scaler worked perfectly well. No problems. It was a little bit fiddly, um, probably because I'm a bit of a Muppet. Uh, grid scaler works perfectly well. I don't, at this point, I don't see a strength of one over the other. Uh, grid scaler does appear to have some additional functions to it. I quite like the fact that you can do the three by three square, which is a bit more accurate than only doing the one square that background scaler does. Um, but either of them is saving huge amounts of time um, if you're a Muppet like me and you're doing that manually through the built-in tools, so it was taking quite a while to do it, scaling up and down and stuff. It worked perfectly. It just took a while. Both of these options are really, really good. Which one am I going to use moving forward? I've not decided. Um, the, the advantage I like with background scalar is it doesn't give me extra boxes over here on the left-hand side, which starts to get a little bit carried away. Is it a big problem at the moment? No, but it might be as we add more mods. Um, that might be a disadvantage, but it has got more utilisation. I don't know, haven't decided yet. Maybe by the next video I will have made up my mind. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care.